Michaeline was a traveling man. He spent his life traveling around Ireland, visiting people in their homes. In every house, he told them the news. He had picked up on his travels. There were no newspapers or televisions in those days, and people were always keen to hear the news from Michaeline. Michaeline would recite poems, some of which he had made up himself. Then he would play a few tunes on his whistle. This made the people very happy, and they would always give him a good meal. If it was getting dark, they would ask him to stay the night. They always gave him some money. One day, Michaeline called at the home of Owen and his new wife Nora. They had a nice house and a fine farm with cows, hens, ducks, and lots of geese. They never kept pigs. A pig had caused a lot of trouble to Owen when he was a single man, and he never bothered with them after that. Owen and Nora were starting to sit down to eat their dinner, and they immediately asked Michaeline to join them. Michaeline told them the, all the news, recited a poem, and sang a few songs. He also played some lovely tunes on his whistle. Owen gave him a shilling. I'll call to the McCarthy. Said Michaeline. Before he left. But the McCarthy's family have sold their farm. And gone to America. Said Nora. Another couple called the Meanies are living there now. You'd be wasting your time calling on them. Said Owen. They are a miserable pair. When the people around here were helping old widow Kelly to cut her grass, the meanies were the only ones who didn't help. Last week, one of my geese wandered into the meanies' fields, and when I went to look for it, Mrs. Meany told me she saw the goose flying away over the hills. Next day, I knew from the smell coming from their house that they had eaten the goose for dinner," said Nora. "They are both greedy and stupid," said Michaeline. "I will do three things to them." First, I will take food for me. Then I will take five shilling from them. And later, I'll tell people see how silly they are. Then Michaeline waved goodbye to Owen and Nora, and headed for the meanies' house. On the way, he picked up a stone from the road. And wrapped it up in his handkerchief. When Michaeline knocked at the meanie's house, there was no reply. But Michaeline knew they were at home because he could see smoke coming out of their chimney. After knocking many times, the door was opened a little. And a woman shouted out, "Go away! We have nothing for you." Michaeline said, "I want nothing but a little water. I have a magic soup stone. 
If I put it in water, it will make the loveliest soup. You have never ever tasted. The woman then opened the door. Her husband stood beside her. Show us this magic stone, they said. And let us see how it works. Michaeline stepped inside. He took out the stone from his pocket and told the meanies to put more wood on the fire. He asked them to put water into a saucepan and to heat it. This is the magic soup stone. He said as he dropped it into the saucepan. We will have nice soup very soon. While the meanies watched him, the water began to heat up. Michaeline tasted a spoonful of it. It needs some pepper and salt. He declared. Mrs. Meanie gave him some pepper and salt, and he put them into the water. Michaeline tasted the water again. It needs meat. He said. Have you any chicken or mutton? Mrs. Meanie gave Michaeline slices of chicken and mutton, and he threw them into the saucepan. Michaeline tasted the water again. It needs onions, carrots, and potatoes. He said. When Mrs. Meany gave him these, he added them to the soup. It's ready now, said Michaeline. Put three soup bowls on the table. Michaeline poured the soup into the bowls, and the three of them sat at the table and began drinking it. The meanies were delighted with the beautiful soup, and told Michaeline that his magic stone was wonderful. Then Michaeline heard Mrs. Meany whisper to her husband. By the magic stone from this beggar man, then we can have lovely soup every day at no cost. Mister Meany offered Michaeline a shilling for the stone, but the traveling man didn't take less than five shillings. Mister Meany finally handed over the money and grabbed the stone greedily. Michaeline put the five shillings in his pocket and left the meanie's house. For the next few weeks, in all the houses where he visited, told the people about Mister and Missus Meanie. That how they had paid him five shilling for a worthless stone. Everyone thought this was the funniest thing. They had never ever heard, and they laughed and laughed.